Hello, 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 good morning, good afternoon, even. <laughs> I have no idea where today has gone. It's, I know I'm a little, I'm a minute or so late, so I, I apologise for that. Oh, wow, it's been catch-up morning here for me, um, because obviously last week, last weekend just gone, I was at centre stage and on stage uh, with Stampin' Up, so yeah, it's gone a bit crazy. Come back, I'm half unpacked. I haven't unpacked half the things I should have unpacked. Um, so to, for today's Monday Moody Pick Me Up, I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek, a little view into my onstage uh, world over the last weekend. But also, obviously, we're going to do some stamping. So we're going to focus on Beautiful You, which I'm pleased to say is a carryover stamp set. So these are the stamps that we'll be playing with. And I know we've used these before, but you know what? I don't care. They're still gorgeous. I still love them. And um, they're going to be carrying forward, so more things to come. However, let's just have a quick shifty, quick look at some of the beautiful things. This is the bag that we received. Um, if you've watched one of my uh, team's Facebook Live yesterday from Barry and Jay from Mateso Crafts, you'll know that this bag was actually in their house last night, but Barry dropped it over this morning for him, for me, bless him. So, um, yeah, I left it in his car. So it's a nice bag. Um, Stampin' Up! logo, obviously. It's got a nice zip, so you keep everything safe in it. It's got pockets. Lots of things like that. Pockets in here. Lots and lots and lots of pockets. Now, I've not used my bag because I tend to give my bag away. So, um, yeah, watch this space. Who knows when that's going to be given away. Okay, so that's my bag. And then I, um, there's lots of things that go in it. Pens and pads and what else did we get? We got, oh, get it off my list. So we got a gorgeous pad that went in called creativity is calling oh that's a bit bright let's turn you down a little bit no wrong way uh, that's a bit better so creativity is calling this is lovely hello wendy nice to see you thank you so much for sharing that's lovely uh, it's a nice pad it's got lines oh no you can't that's gone very fuzzy now come back there we go it's got lines and dots and on the other side it's got different creativity is calling so you can have it either way whichever you feel a uh, couple of pens, always good. Some gorgeous folders, which I haven't even opened yet, but I have a feeling I might be keeping these. These are lovely. Keep all my stuff safe and sorted out and secure. Um, so, yeah, these are, that also gives you a little bit of a sneak peek of one of the new stamp sets. It's not going to be this large, let me just tell you that. <laughs> not going to be just this large, it will be smaller. Um, but it's beautiful, yes. So Wendy, I love the birds too. You can't go wrong because actually they've done these birds really well and they, they would fit any kind of bird in any kind of country, I think. So that's really good. So, yes, some nice folders, which I'll be working out what I'm going to do with them. So you get loads of stuff, but obviously you also get stamps. So, oh, sorry, it was a bit round. So the stamp, oh, the stamp set we got was this one. Let's move those out of the way. So we've got this one, Daisy Lane, which uh, coordinates with the Daisy Punch. So that's good. It's going through. Oh, hi, Rebecca. Nice to nice. Thanks for joining. Lovely to see you, Twinny, over the weekend. Have a big Twinny hug and photo. Um, but it's also got this little um, Daisy. And yes, that will be a new punch. Exciting. Um, but I like this fern very much as well, actually. And if you look at it, you know, obviously you're going to be drawn to the daisies. But I, I, I just love this fern element here and smile and friend aren't they lovely it's got some really nice um nice script nice words nice 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 and then because i got to go to center stage because i was silver elite and above i uh, ranked as gold so i had my gold nails done mm -hmm. um we go to center stage and our prezi was this which is a gorgeous um purse or pouch and then inside the pouch We've got a new label punch. Okay, that, you can't see that, can you? Can you see it if I do that? Oh, a little bit. Let me turn it over. Oh, no, you can't see that. <laughs> Let me open it. See, I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, it's all happening live. Here we go. So it's a new punch like this. Yes, Wendy, I'm very, very happy to have a smaller daisy punch too. So it's it's like this. It's um, It's a nice label, a new kind of label which is a nice size. And do you know what? 
I think that the smile and the friend would fit perfectly into that label. So there you go. They don't do things by halves. They know what they're doing when they talk to Stamp Up. Uh, and this is a beautiful pouch. It will be very useful um, as a purse to take credit cards in. Or um, this is going to become my new money pouch for um, Stampin' Up! events. Any of my classes that I run, because I think that would be great. Because my other one's a little bit small. Came with an old catalogue bag, a black catalogue bag. And because it's black, I keep losing it, because I can't see it in the dark. <laughs> so this will be great for that, because I'll be able to use that in my classes. And hopefully, I won't lose it. So there we go. And everything's logo. Do you know, it's all beautifully done. I really like that. Um, hi, Janice. Nice to see you on here. How's Scotland doing? Is it cold? It's free. It, it's bright, really lovely and bright. But man, it's cold down here. I thought it's freezing up there. Uh, and then we had a little pad as well, centre stage pad, which was nice so that we could write notes in it. Personally, I took my own book because I like to write copious notes. Uh, and then what else did we get? Oh, there's something else that we got. Can't remember what that is. What is it? Uh, oh yeah, the new catalogue. <laughs> so here we go. Let's turn that one off for a minute so we don't get that light shining on it, uh, which makes it all a bit darker. But there you go. So this is the new Stampin' Up! catalogue. I cannot open it, unfortunately, for you. All I can do is show you the cover. <sighs> but isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it? Sh I mean, even the cover just takes you in. So there's a hello, which looks really similar in font. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> really similar in font to this um, hello, smile and friend, which I like. Um, so down here, there's florals. Okay, and this is going to, all you vintage shabby chic girls out there are going to absolutely love this catalogue. And boys uh, are really going to love this catalogue because of the flowers and the whole crumb cake and dusky pink which is rococo rose um and all these gorgeous kind of um vintagey colors and then up here oh hi sarah nice to see you up here you've got um sailing boats and things for men and let me tell you we have been asking for men's cards and things that we can use on men's cards for uh, you know have a really good selection and this catalogue delivers that okay you know not just boats there are some beautiful line etch drawings uh stamps like beautiful you but all designed for men it's just beautiful so we have got some really good stuff coming out for the men in our lives and also for the men who maybe want to stamp for other garbage you know or they want to stamp stuff that's coming from them so really good for that uh, but I really like these ships and I was so, so, so lucky that um, in the European and, and I think everywhere else as well, if you're in a local, you get to um, grab stuff out of the box that we use on the day. You don't get that benefit at live, but I think they get extra presses. Uh, so this had, uh, we were able to get this stamp set. Uh, but you know what? It's hidden somewhere. <laughs> I have to show you some of this i don't know if i'm going to get it all in camera but i have to show you what the things i've got here right. so this bag so this bag oh, here <laughs> is stuffed okay it's stuffed with gifts and stamp sets i mean it's a massive bag it's my mediterranean bag and i always take it because it's great but I've got, what have I got? Oh yeah, papers, we've got papers. We got a really, oh, we actually got a really handy clipboard, which is gonna be great for signups and this brilliant on stage little magazine. This was my prize patrol. Yay, I'm so happy that I got that one. <laughs> um, oh yes, and this is the nautical one that I was telling you about. And then, oh, these are more swaps. I've got more swaps. What else have I got here? I've got make and takes, which I'm going to show you a bit more in detail on my blog at some point. Uh, more make and takes. Okay, they were all presents, gifts. Oh no, here we go. More make and takes. That one I didn't finish. That one I didn't finish. Honestly, there was so much to do. This one, this one I finished and I'll show you in a minute. Oh, here we go. This was badges, obviously. Uh, and then this was one of the little, 
Oh, I'm sorry, this is being noisy, I know. This is one of the little boxes that we had on the table. Isn't that just so cute? That's cute, isn't it? Um, oh, hi, we got oh, Lisa Jane's on. Hello. More animals, I know, love them. <laughs> Would love more koalas. Yeah, I know, Lisa. We have lost we haven't got koalas, but they are still at least taken out of the kangaroo. Oh, here's my um pom pom that we always take. Oh, and um, um, <laughs> course my little tiara which I lent to one of my team because I had my big pink crown on uh, what else oh so one of the team Karen gave us bubbles so when we were excited and happy about stuff we could do this and the bubbles blowing across everything which is quite cute I like that she always does that it's great always love bubbles uh, what else oh, I got a stamp pad out the bag I got another soft suede so that's good and then I also managed to pick up this darling little box and these are going to be able to be purchased so you can get your own little stamping up box <laughs> like you get your orders in isn't that cute <laughs> oh so fab okay what else did i get oh i managed to get a little stamp set oh i need to i'm going to tell you a bit more about that when i tell you about that uh then i got some anchors and stuff that go with the nautical and i got the twine so i managed to get nearly the whole suite and then I got some of these fluffy yellow things, which mm, I'm not convinced about, but we'll talk about that. Um, so, <laughs> so look at all the stash. I'm just like, wow. So if you wonder whether going to an onstage local is worth it, I'm just going to put that out there and say, hell yeah. <laughs> well, heck yeah, I should say for my uh, politically correct people. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> nice baby brown box yes i know it's gorgeous isn't it right i'm going to put that light back on so we get a bit more light while i show you this so i'm going to move all this stuff off i'm going to finish off um these over the next few i'll finish these two but i need to finish these two over the next couple of days then they'll be going up on the blog okay uh but this is a fab stamp set and look at wildly happy i mean foxes and cubs but this one here elephants that is going to go on my thailand um memory keeping because they're just so cute with the little baby snuggling into its mom. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's going to go on my Thailand uh, memories and more. Now I have space. I'm doing more of my memory keeping. So that's great. The rabbits. Well, I have at least two people in my life who I know love rabbits. So Ruth's going to love that. And so is Sheila. Pandas again, but a nice kind of cuddly panda, not like a happy dancing panda. Um, so, yeah, it's a great little baby set, but you could use these for anything. You know, somebody needing a hug just oh, something for um you know somebody who's got somebody going to school or something like that you know uh, you could use this for a lot of things so i love that stamp set this one is great it's got nice lovely thank yous uh, thanks and congrats um you are my true north i will use that with sean that's just amazing set sail in the direction of your dreams isn't that beautiful let hope be your anchor through the storms of life oh my word that's just gorgeous for, for um for people who are having a rough time so you know just really lovely really lovely stamp sets okay so let's get those out of the way we're not going to be playing with those today but i will be playing with them tomorrow tomorrow night we have the greek isles uh, incentive trip blog hop my that that's a bit of a oh that's a bit of a um a long tongue twister hey louise hey jay nice thanks for, thanks for joining so yeah so tomorrow we've got the um achievers blog hop for those of us around the world who achieved the incentive trip so there'll be lots and it's the the new um the theme for tomorrow is uh, new sneak peeks so there'll be lots of sneak peeks coming along and the good thing is that everybody around the world got different stamp sets in their local prizes i think so i've seen other different stamp sets on facebook and stuff so the blog hop tomorrow hopefully will give you some even more um, beautiful things. But, you know, I'm not going to be looking at these beautiful things in depth until probably sometime in May, because I've still got to get through my two retreats, April and May. Still spaces available for May, by the way. Uh, and uh, I have all, I've, uh, Sean has just photographed all my retreat projects, so I'll be writing all my retreat instructions this week. So I have to focus on that. Um, and then, of course, May comes and pre-order arrives. And that means that if you join my team in May, uh, you can order the new stuff as part of your starter kit, which is fantastic. Um, and then, but before then, we have everything that we love that's going. Because tonight we announced the retirement list. 
Hey Sue, hey Sandra, hey Sheila. Oh, it's a busy one today. Nice, good, glad you're all here. Um, so, you know, we will have lots of things that we love that are going and we need to concentrate on those. Um, but there are a couple of things that are coming in May that I need to talk to you about. So whilst we are losing things, we are gaining things too. So in we have the retirement list, but in May, we also have a new thing coming called um, Paper Pumpkin. Now, if you're not in the US, or you don't follow blogs uh, from the US, you won't have a clue what Paper Pumpkin is about. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription, uh, which is available in the US. Oh, I've suddenly realized I put that on a bit crooked, never mind. Um, <laughs> the things you do when you're in a hurry up on, on stage, making you making takes. But it's a, it's a monthly subscription craft box. Now, they're just testing it in the UK. So next month, there's a special for one month only, and it is while supplies last, and you know how fast these things are gonna go. There is a special um, host, uh, no, Hugs from Shelley uh, box coming, okay? And I just had the little stamps, what did you do? So um, it's a special set. You're going to make 12 cards. This is one of the designs. The other two is secret at the moment. Um, but they'll be in this shabby chic style. Uh, and then this is the stamp set that goes with it. So it's got a thank you. Can you see those? I don't know if you can see those. Maybe. So it's got thank you, it's got grateful, it's got dear friend, for you, hugs, a little bit of a splatter, because we all know that Shelley loves a bit of, a bit of splatter. Okay. Um, and then, of course, everything else comes pre-done. So you get all of the things cut out for you, even the little flowers, you just pop them out. So you're doing a very small amount of stamping, but you're still making 12 beautiful cards. And they will come in a set in a kit ready to go and it's going to be 20 pounds which is amazing uh, and yeah wendy you're getting it in australia too and new zealand i think it's the first time ever around the world we're going to get hands on um paper pumpkin so i'm really excited about this i will be purchasing a kit of this and i would recommend that if anybody wants a kit of that you need to contact me let me know i will place an order the first day it's available which is going to be the 15th of may now, uh, another thing that's coming in May is a set that I don't actually have any goodies of. We didn't get any on, on stage, but it's called the Everything is Rosy Medley, product medley, and it is for my avid crafters. So everybody out there who has um, has their own big shot or cutting, cutting machine, you know, you have your own stocks of cardstock, you have your own sets of inks. This is going to be something that you buy, which is an amazing kit. It's full of stamps and coordinating dies and dsp and cut out labels um and and items that you can pop immediately as layers onto your card uh, that coordinate with the dies and it's got rose gold shimmer paint in it oh so yummy and it's got two lots of ribbon in it and it's got other beautiful copper um rose gold embellishments so they're it's just stunning as soon as i get pictures of it i will put it up that goes live 1st of May. I'm going to be doing a workshop order on the 1st of May. If you want it, you need to tell me. As soon as you see it, you're going to fall in love with it and you'll want it. So that is a big, massive. I'm basically, it's a retreat in a box. You just have to add card and envelopes. OK, so that's all the new stuff about what's coming. Now, I think it's time we got on with a bit of stamping. I am going to show you a few of my swap cards that I got. I've got so many that it's going to go over a whole it's going to go over a whole day easily go over a whole day um i mean i've got just oh and i got quite a lot i got quite a lot of ducks as well because <laughs> my my upline is crafty ducks so i got a beautiful chocolate duck and she got one for my husband too which he is very appreciative for so diane thank you very much for that um but look just look right all this loveliness gorgeousness it's going to take a long time to go through all and these aren't even all of them i've got more somewhere else um so yeah they're, and every time i open this box something beautiful just wafts out beautiful smell in there something amazing i think it might be this which is like sugar scrub or something anyway beautiful so i'm going to do a whole video on that I will go through and do that separately because it will take up otherwise the whole of the hour um but yeah some fabulous 
lots of varied vases which i love and i loved it look at that oh, that's so cute oh, just, yeah, anyway just lovely so anyway we'll go through that i promise we'll go through that okay and then what else have i got in here oh what else did i get oh i got i got completely spoiled by my uh, my mum's upline so my up upline oh and then yes i'm just oh, some beautiful things look just got some gorgeous stuff look at this from my upline isn't that beautiful incredibly proud of you this is for me getting to center stage and then inside she's um actually stamped onto a, a it's a stone coaster and it says glad we're friends isn't that gorgeous oh, i'm very glad we're friends too uh anyway there's a whole load of stuff in here i can't go through it all today but i just wanted to share a few bits and then, um, because I'm just incredibly grateful to all of my Stampin' Up! friends. You know, we have such a blast at these events, uh, which you might have seen. And I'm desperately trying to get a video down. Um, there was a bit of spontaneous dancing from me and uh, a couple of my other um, silver elites in the team. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was captured on film so uh, I'm looking to try and get hold of that I can't actually download it because it's in my it's in my um, team group but anyway so uh, when you see that it'll be fun so this was my swap because I knew beautiful you was carrying forward and I also wanted to celebrate lemon lime twist that is sadly not carrying forward but I also knew that the um, punch was carrying forward so I thought well this will give people some inspiration for maybe a simple card for a card and a couple type event. Really easy to do, but it introduces people to the blends. OK, because this is actually Granny Apple Green Light. And if you stamp Granny Apple Green Light, you get Lemon Lime Twist. OK, so not stamp, but colour in. So I wanted to show people that actually, although we may be saying goodbye to the papers and the card, we can still keep that lovely colour pop. Um, by using our blends so that was my um, swap that we used and what I wanted to do today was give you another colorway combination another option okay with a color that we know is staying so I'm deciding to do this one in Highland Heather because we know that's staying and um, whilst I can tell you that the gingham papers will be leaving us which i'm very sad about there are some gorgeous new papers coming so here is my base actually am i going to move it i might move this off although it does keep the camera nice and focused so actually i might leave it on because it seems to be working well you then need to get a base uh, for that now because i'm using a darker base uh, i want to go for a different color but it's got to somehow match my what about a coastal cabana? Oops, that might be a nice pop. We'll do that. Okay, and then we need to have a whisper white mat. Okay, so those are our three layers, and then we're going to cut. I want to do it a different way. Rather than doing it this way, I'm going to do it this way, and I'm going to show you with a different lady. Okay. So I'm going to use a cut off from my gingham designer series paper and I'm just going to grab my trimmer, sob sob, um, and cut this down to nine and a half. OK, so this is uh, what's this? This is just an off cut. So it's about two inches, just over two inches, about five and a half, mm, five and a quarter centimetres, but five would five would look, look good. So let's just cut that to five, actually, just to make it easy five is always a nice um, number to use because when you when you think about your card and you think about it it's always good to use the rule of thirds and if you think about the whole card it's nearly 15 centimeters isn't it it's 14.9 in length so if you, you if you split your card it's going to go into five five and five so if you use the rule of thirds then anything that's around five or less should sit nicely on your card base and cut your cut this into like two and one so it works well with the eye uh, so this base here is nine and a half by 13.9 and this one is 10 by 14.4 so now i need to stamp and i want to stamp 
this one instead. I'm going to change, as I said, we're going to change it up. So there's my girl. She's been, she's been well used as my girl. As you can see, she's a little, she's a little dark, but it doesn't make a blind bit of difference, which is good. Um, I, I've got, I need to get some glue. Uh, right, what do I need? I need a Mento ink because we know it has to be a different ink to what we're going to colour with. So we'll pop those over there for a moment. And then I'm just going to ink her up in Memento. So, I mean, you could make a whole series of these with the three girls that are in Beautiful You and use any colour or any kind of designer series paper. I'm just going to pop her down. Oops there can't actually see I'm just I'm just winging this bit <laughs> you know as you do there we go she looks good and then she's going to go on there that's going to go on there that's going to go on there beautiful right now what i do need are my blends which i've left in the corner bear with me because i've now got to get over all the stuff that i've just put on the floor from center on stage hang on <laughs> Oh, it's going to be so much easier when I get my new storage up and running, but I haven't had time to put it all together, which is why I haven't done a video yet of my new craft room. But believe me, it's coming. It is coming. Right. So as I rummage through here, I'm just trying to find my two, my two uh, Highland Heathers. Okay, put that there. Hope it stays. Don't fall over. Now I'm going to put a bit of paper under this because oh sorry because i don't want to get no i don't want to get blends on my lovely on my lovely piece piece of uh, paper anyway right so we're going to start coloring her in now i always try and use the large brush end and i just do brush strokes with that don't try and do any colouring like that with it because you'll ruin it. Okay, so large brush strokes with that. And then if you want to go in and do the detail, you want the blunt end and then you want to go in with circular motions to fill in the other pieces. Okay, and you'll notice that I've gone in with light to start off with. And yes, I normally do light first, then dark, then light again that's just me you don't have to do that you can do whichever you want i go back in with my dark blunt end and just do where the shadows are so the shadows are always going to fall normally where they've put them on the stamp themselves but you you know where things are going to be dark they're going to be darker edges um we're going to assume the sun's coming from this side so this side's going to be a bit darker too and underneath all the petticoats going to be a bit darker Okay, so go back in with dark and then I go back in with light again and then I'll just circular motions, blend it in. I mean, you could just leave it like that, it doesn't actually look bad like that. But if you go back in with some light, you can just blend that in. Blend, 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 blend. And you'll notice that the, um, the inks blend as they dry. So they blend and then they dry a beautiful, so they might look a bit blotchy as you go, that's what I'm trying to say, but once they dry, they're beautifully blended. Okay, and then our hat, obviously, I'm just gonna do in light. And again, long strokes is good, and then circular motions as well. Um, there we go. Right, so she's now colored in for that piece, but then we need to do her arms because, she always looks a, she looks a bit like me really she's a bit pale so <laughs> um what we need is an ivory i think or even a dark petal pink might work but somewhere i have an ivory let's see if i can find it hold on is that it no light crumb cake see oh i so need my storage <laughs> 
I wouldn't mind I'm getting frustrated because it's sitting behind me in boxes. <laughs> That's what's driving me nuts. <laughs> okay, so what do you think so far? Good? You've all gone very quiet. So I'm hoping you're all still there and it's all okay still. Oh, no, I've done that. I've pulled it out completely. Silly me. Right. Sometimes that happens and you pull the whole thing out. You have to just ease off your lid. Okay. So then some ivory going along our hands. Just, I mean, it's just a, a hint really, isn't it? It's just to make it stand out from the white down there on our feet. Lovely. And I'm quite happy she's got a bit of sand to stand on. I don't feel the need to put anything else in down there. Okay, so we're going to... Oops. Pick it up. Bit of glue. Okay. I'm going to put this on here. Just near the edge, about about half a centimetre in from the edge of your cardstock and then get that nicely lined up so it's straight lovely okay now we can take this away you can see it came through it didn't actually come through but you never know it depends on how much you're blending really as to whether it's coming through or not oh, have we got any more comments lisa jane you haven't got the stamp set Oh my goodness, it is the of just a beautiful stamp set. I mean, I know it's called Beautiful You, but it really is beautiful. Oh, if you haven't got this one, you really must. It's just gorgeous. Okay, and I'm going to pop it down on the Coastal Cabana. because that's going to make it pop on the card base like that. And I think I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to put something over here for the sentiment, but I might not do the same as I did. I might not do the same sentiment. We don't know yet. It's still all in my head because you know what I do. I don't actually come up with a plan for these things. I just come on and design on the fly with you. What do you think about a sentiment? I think a smaller one. A smaller one just maybe as a circle or something here. I don't know. I like that. That's good. Okay, so let's pull out... Let's pull out. Oh, I like this one. Fabulous at any age. <laughs> I like that from Itty Bitty. Let's do this. So this is Itty Bitty Greetings. And it means it's small enough that I can pop, pop it onto a small, a small piece of Whisper White. If I can get to my Whisper White. There we go. Small piece of whisper white. Let's try this. And then memento again so it matches. Yeah, so you could send this to anybody really, couldn't you? And have it as a lovely birthday card. And then I think I'm going to go with. Oh, and then is it oh, actually no, it might be the one and a half i'm sad to say that the that some of these are going the one and a quarter inch is going but the one and a half is staying and i think yeah i think that's actually the one we need so that's good okay so we'll pop this on here i know it looks a little large at the moment but bear with me because i've had i've got an idea there we go so just pop that out Let's pop those over there get rid of that so that's going to go on here and obviously the backdrop forms its own background for it and then i'm going to use some of the gorgeous 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 where are they oh there we go gingham gala sequins because they're self-adhesive and already adhered already adhered no, that doesn't make any sense does it they've already got <laughs> they've already got sticky stuff on okay oh and there's a fabulous new tool coming for the for this oh wow take your pick tool is going to really come into its own in the next catalog okay so pop that down there like that uh, does it need another one do we think it needs another one oh, i'm not sure now i was going to put one up there as well but actually i think i might do two 
let's make this into a into a trio just like that there there we go so there's our there's our little bit of bling and then we're near, we're pretty much done pretty much done i hope this has picked up your moody monday because i know everybody especially those of you who came to uh, on stage you're going to be pretty moody that now you're back at work <laughs> uh if you're not doing something up as a living um so you know i hope this has picked you up and made you feel a little bit more like your bit of on stage presentation still going on and for those of you who didn't come to on stage because you're not demonstrators yet or you just couldn't come i hope this has picked up your mon your mo monday lunchtime tea um because you know that's that's what i'm here for trying to cheer you up on a monday because we all could do with a bit of cheering up although it is holidays like so i know some of you are going to be out and about with family and friends and stuff like that looking after the kids so you probably need to pick me up too anyway <laughs> there we go that's my two cards done so there's this one which was my on stage swap and then there's this one which will work anytime any place next year too i'm wondering if i should do a third one of those now looking at it yeah it needs another hang on it needs another one just there i think which i know does goes away from the three and one but actually there's three and then there's one so very uneven so that's okay that looks better what do we think we like good picked you up cheered you up ah oh, lovely look at that oh i've got loads more people on here oh sheila's on i'm still following you good i'm glad sheila uh, Lisa loves it. Jay, you always cheer us up. Oh, thank you. I'm guessing that's Barry because Jay's probably at work, but thank you. That's very kind. Um, so yeah, really quick and simple, very easy. You can grab all these supplies at the moment. None of them are on um, back order as far as I'm aware or, um, or unorderable status, apart from maybe the punch of a pretty label. But apart from that, you can purchase these, get the blends, then get some storage for the blends so that you're not doing what I'm doing and putting them all in a box. Um, I do actually have my storage here. Shall we open it? I don't know which one it is. Open storage. Ink pad storage. I'm sure I bought a blends. Oh, of course, it's always the last box, isn't it? Here we go. Stamping blend storage. So this is also available for you to purchase today. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That looks exciting, doesn't it? It's got some sticky feet. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's all come clipped together. I like that. That's nice. All you need to do is add feet and buy a lid. Now, I have a lid. I'm not sure which lid I'm going to put on it yet, but I do have a lid for that and see look these will fit oh, just perfect when you get the lid in here we go here's the little lid which comes in a very large foam square i'm sure we're going to be able to do some stuff with that foam square it's like a frame and then the lid just clips on top somehow i'll get there in a minute. does it slide on I'll just click on i think it might slide on take the lens out i think it just sits on like that there we go yeah perfect so then these slide in here look at that that's great isn't it so you can fit uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six blends on each row. Wow. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30. That's looking good, isn't it? Okay. So that's nice. And then you can take this lid off and put another one on and stack them all up. So definitely I'm going to be more organized. And once I get all of that stuff sorted, um, then I will do a little quick tour and you can see my craft room. 
and then oh it's got feet it's also got sticky feet look rubbery feet we like these rubber feet and that goes on the bottom here to make sure that it doesn't damage your surfaces and it stays secure so that's great so i'll put those up in a bit but isn't that fair i love that you know what i'm going to be doing later on today don't you ah, storage whoa i had to do one stage and get all that stuff done first but now it's done now i can move on and do my storage so there we go Oops. yeah i'm sure that must click in somehow but i haven't worked out how that does right there we go so yes so that's it that's my media monday pick me up i hope you've all had fun lots of hearts thank you very much <laughs> and uh, enjoyed my tales of on stage and as i say some of these are all the new stuff's going to be available in june so we're not going to talk too much about that over the coming weeks but if you do want to um talk to me about joining my team and getting some of the new products in your hands before anybody else then uh please get in touch you can message me from here or you can contact me by my website or email or you can just click the join my team link that's in the um, description here below right then have a lovely day have a lovely week have a fabulous easter i won't be here next monday because it's bank holiday monday here in the uk uh, but i'll be back here again on the 29th and obviously i'll be posting things up in between i will continue to blog and video and do all kinds of stuff between now and then so have fun have a great easter and i'll see you all soon Take care for now. Bye-bye.